Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to create wedding invitation template in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description. Download it. Use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want the completely designed .psd file means, hit the like button. Soon after reaching 100 likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine. Let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a PSD file called invitation, open the file inside Photoshop. This one is a design ready file, size is 5 by 7 Right from the layers panel, guidelines, everything is ready for the design, you can straight away start designing it. First enable the color palette group here. These are the colors we are going to use in this design. To make it easier, I have given you the color palette, first enable the color palette folder. Next, we are going to create a solid color background. For that, go to background folder, create a layer, go to color picker, sample this off white color. Now, fill the color by using keyboard shortcut Alt Backspace. Next, we are going to bring in our images, two images. The one going to act as our image placeholder and second one is our main image. For that, go to the folder you downloaded, open image one inside Photoshop. We are going to use this image as our image placeholder for that drag and drop the image inside our canvas place the image inside the image folder i'll place it at the top if you want you can resize it by enabling free transform tool fine next we are going to bring in our main image go to the folder you downloaded open image to inside photoshop obviously you can use your image drag and drop the image inside our canvas make sure to place the image right above our image holder layer now right click the image create clip mask now we are going to resize the image by enabling free transform tool ctrl t by holding shift key resize the image fine i'll settle with this one Next, we are going to add rectangle border to our template. For that, go to design folder, create a layer. Now, select rectangle tool. Disable fill, enable stroke. And select color, this faded gold color. Make sure the size is 6 pixels. Now, create a rectangle border like so. Make sure the spacings are even on both sides. Fine. Next, we are going to create our text content. Bride's name. For that, go to text folder, create a layer, go to color picker and sample this off black color. Enable text tool. The font I'm using is a free font. I'll give a link in the description. You can download it if you want. Now type in the bride's name. I'll reduce the font size down to 34. I'll place it at the center here. Next, I'm going to create a duplicate copy. Ctrl J. I'll reduce the size as 22 pixels. This one is width. Next, I'll create another duplicate copy. By using the arrow key, make sure the spacings between the text layers are even. Fine, I'll settle with this one. Next, we are going to add two vector shapes to our text. For that, go to design folder, create a layer. Now, select custom shape tool this one click this tab click the settings icon this one and click all and then click append by doing so all the shapes will be visible now we are going to use ornament 5 this one now select the ornament 5 vector shape by holding shift key create a shape like so i think we need to change the shape color for that Disable the stroke, enable fill, I'll go with 
this off black color the same color we used for the text now enabling free transform tool adjust the size a little bit fine I'll settle with this one next we are going to create a duplicate copy ctrl J by holding shift key bring the shape down below here enable free transform tool ctrl T you flip vertical now using arrow key make sure the spacings are even now our wedding invitation is almost ready we are going to add other text content for that go to text folder create a layer I'm going to the same off black color I'll change the font to Lato here it's a free font I'll give a link in the description you can download it if you want I'll reduce the size down to 9 pixels now type in your text I'll create a duplicate copy ctrl J another copy add the date now we are going to add two more text layers for the first one I'm going to change the font style so there you go guys our wedding invitation template is ready now you all you got to do is disable this color palette export the file as jpeg or pdf and get it printed so that's it guys i hope this video is useful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button for more tutorials subscribe to our channel click the bell icon thanks for watching take care